Hello. Um, so in this video, I want to show you how you can create presets like the ones on um, VSCO. So basically, um, it's really easy and we will just be using one adjustment layer and the one that we'll be using is the curves adjustment. And that's it. You don't have to mess with anything else. You don't have to use um, the contrast and other adjustment tools you can you will just use the curves adjustments and it's really really easy I know that the curves adjustments is one that is very intimidating for most people because it's really hard to use for some people um, but it's actually very easy especially if you just want to add a preset to a photo and make it look nicer so we're just gonna get started and we're gonna make sure that we're on the red green blue settings right here and um, we're going to start off on the master settings so um, basically what the curves does is um, you add points to this line and i usually like to add three points one in the middle one right here and then one down here and then they automatically already have points in the corners so um, basically what this does is whether you move the points up or down that determines the increase or decrease of contrast on the image so I'm just gonna get started and I kinda wanna add more contrast to this image a little bit here at the bottom so I'll just drag this down a little bit and I think that looks pretty good right there and then up here you just kinda wanna mess with it and see what looks nice for you I think I'll just up a little right here. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, and then let's see. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that like that for now. Um, I might come back to it later. So um, now we're going to switch to the red tool. And um, let's see. So basically, I'm going to add my three dots again in the same spot so what the red adjustments tool does it basically um, you can bring out the red in the image or decrease the red in the image so I think I wanna I'm just gonna play with it basically because really there isn't much red in this image so I'm just gonna see what looks nice and what works for this image So it looks pretty good right there. Okay. And I am going to actually skip the green option because we already have so much green in this picture. We really don't need to bring out any more green or, you know, um, get rid of green. So I really, it's not a good option for me for this picture so I'm just gonna skip it and go down to the blue one so on the blue one um, we're gonna do the same thing add the three dots and just kinda play with it and see what looks good so let's see that looks pretty good right there um, it looks like it's sunnier and it looks warmer so I really like that mess with this one I do want to kind of look I want the image to look warmer so I think the picture is looking pretty good so far let's see this one I think that looks that looks pretty good right there I really like how this looks. I think I'll go back to the master setting and maybe con add more contrast to this image just a little bit. Like right there looks pretty nice. I, I am kind of aiming for a natural type look. Um, so yeah. And if you notice, the dots don't move. Like when you set them there, they're not going to move. OK, 
Okay, I think that looks pretty good right there. So now, um, you can just add this preset and actually name it. So I'm just going to name it um, green. And then you can click out of this, exit out, and let's go to the layers. And to see the difference, just deselect the curves adjustment. And this is the original picture. And with the curves adjustment, this is our new picture with our new preset. And it does look much better than the original one. So yeah, there is a huge difference. I really like how this looks very warm. And it was really easy. I mean, all you need to do is use one adjustment layer, and that's it. And um, let's go ahead and work on this other image that I have here. So since we already um, saved this curves adjustment, we already have it saved under the curves adjustment option. So I have several that I have made right here. So. Yeah, this is the one that we just made. Um, so let's go back to our other image. And basically, I am under the curves adjustment option. And here is my new preset that we just added called green. And if I just want to use it on a new image, I can just click it and it just automatically adds it. So you don't have to do this all the time for every single image and then you can always tweak it as well if you don't like how it looks you can just double click it and you can just mess with it and see what looks better or you can start a new one from scratch as well and just keep adding new presets to um, your curves adjustments option and also there's another thing I wanted to show you so let's say you decided to keep this and you think it looks a little too much. You can always use the opacity tool to decrease how much of the preset you want it to have. So if you want it to be at 100%, you can. If you want to lower it down, and if you obviously lower it to zero, it goes back to the original image. So yeah, it's pretty easy. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. And go ahead and give it a like and a thumbs up.